Okay, so we know that the area of a rectangle, so I need to write down the um, general form for an area of a rectangle, that's length times width. We know that the area is 200 square meters. Okay, we also, we're going to end up finding the perimeter. Okay, perimeter for a rectangle is 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. There's nothing that I can plug in right there because we're trying to find the minimum perimeter. I don't know the length and I don't know the width. So let's draw a picture because right now we have two variables. Let's see if we can minimize this down to one variable. So we have a rectangle here. We know that its area is 200. So if we say, let's let this, the height, the width, whatever you want to call it, length, I don't care what it is. Let's say that that's X. If that is X and the area is 200, can we come up with an expression for this uh, side on the top that just involves the variable X? Yeah. Right, divide by X. Okay, divide by X. 200 over X would be an expression for that side right there. So, we can substitute that. Now, we can rewrite our perimeter formula, okay? Our perimeter is equal to two times X plus two times 200 over X. So that's also, if we multiply that, that is 400 over X. You only multiply the numerator. 2 times 200 is 400. So that is an equation for the perimeter of this rectangle. Now we want to find the minimum perimeter. So this is why we need our calculator. Because we don't know what the perimeter is, we need to find the minimum. So we're going to plug that into our y equals 2x plus 400 over x. Notice this is a rational equation because we have a variable in the denominator. Okay, this is a rational equation. Okay, now, before you automatically press graph, okay, we need to adjust our window because we need to think about realistic dimensions here. Okay? X is representing the side length of this rectangle. So, does it make any sense to have negative x values? No. So, our x minimum needs to be zero. Okay? Our x maximum. I don't know exactly what that could be. I mean, I know my area is 200, so it's, I don't know, it could be anywhere, probably it's not going to be any bigger than 100. Let's go ahead and put 100 in there just in case. Okay? Um, y values. Okay? What is the y representing? What is the y in this equation? The what? The length? Nope. What is, what is this equation equal to? Perimeter. So the perimeter doesn't make any sense for that to be a negative value? No. So that's zero. Um, I don't know what our maximum perimeter may be, so let's put 100 in there just to be on the safe side as well. Now press graph. Okay. There is our graph. Obviously, I made the x a little bit bigger than it needed to be, but at least this way I can see the whole thing. You see that there's a minimum value right here. Okay, that is going to be the minimum. If you've never done this before, press second, trace. Number three is minimum. It asks for a left bound. You need to move your cursor so that it is on the left side of that minimum value right there. Press enter, move it to the right side, press enter and then just press enter again for the guess. Now, be careful. It gives us an x value and a y value. The x value is what in this problem? Okay, I have a 14, but what does it represent? The length of the side. So that's 14.14. What does the y value represent? Yeah, it's 56, but what is that representing? The perimeter, okay? 
the perimeter, the minimum perimeter for this figure is 56.56, and that side length is 14.14. Yes, sir. Why didn't we just square root it? That's a good question. If you realize that a square is going to give you the maximum area and the minimum perimeter, then yeah, you could just take the square root. Um, but sometimes we have additional conditions that make these things not a square, but yes, in this case it is just a square. Uh, because we would need to figure out what the other side of that is. 200, whoops. 200 divided by 14.14 is 14.14. Okay. It is a square. This is a square. The dimensions are 14.14 by 14.14. And it gives us that perimeter. Okay? Yes. Good <laughs> Lord. And those are meters. Please, please, please make sure that you always put, whenever we have a problem that has units, make sure that you include units in your answer. Okay. So would you take, yes. would you take like the rounded answer or the square rooted answer? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No problem with that. <laughs>